Yo, what's up my beautiful friends welcome back into another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you how you can actually bypass this 403 or 401 errors maybe you're doing a pen test or maybe you're doing backwards and you got faced by these 403 or 401 errors so if you're interested in learning more about this topic please click the like button and subscribe button and let's get started so let's just start by solving this lab right here for example you can see it's a lab by zach 0 x 403 bypass practice lab you can find it on github it's totally free you don't have to pay anything just go to github and install it as you can see right here i already installed it and started working with it basically what you can just do is just run the start.sh and everything will be running for you it's very simple you will have it you will be having eight labs to solve and eight labs to practice your skills so we're gonna go through to each labs of those okay so what i recommend is to have an android is already installed so you will have this public url which will be more effective for us to test for this uh, 403 bypass lab as you can see right here i'm having a public url which is android uh, url so we're gonna try to solve this lab we're gonna go with the first one for example you can see right here the challenge number one which is http verb or method bypass so we're gonna try to access admin secret which is supposedly to give us a 403 uh or error code for example try do it like this and try to go into burp intercept the request as a normal uh, as a normal thing for example right here we're gonna try to send this as a repeater and we're gonna try to see how actually this server is gonna be interacting with our request. For example, we click send, and you can see we're having a 403 forbidden, and you can see a hint right here. It's saying try using a different HTTP method. So this hint right here, you won't find it in all uh, in real world uh, real world application. This is just a test lab, so I just included this in order for you to understand what kind of tests you need to be testing in, in, into this lab. So it's saying try using different HTTP methods. So what are the different HTTP methods you can use? For example, you can use post, you can use trace, you can use options, but you can basically just go uh, into Google and look for HTTP method. It's very simple. You go HTTP methods and try to go like this and you will find multiple http methods that you can actually try to test for example we're having get head post like puts content delete connect option trace etc etc so we need to look for a word list in order to try to brute force these methods and get like the real uh, method that will work for us for example we can do word list github uh, let's just hope we can find a word list that we can work with for example right here we're having this word list when you can see we're having multiple methods that we can try to brute force in order to bypass this 403 for example we have an option we have get head post we have a put put we have delete trust etc so what we can actually do is we try to copy one of those for example we go copy all of these uh, methods right here and we go to our repeater and we see the request that we're trying to test or the request that we're trying to bypass or access this resource we want to access for example we have in 4 or 3 forbidden what we can actually do is we go send this to the intruder okay intruder and we try to brute force the get for example we're gonna select the get we click add and we're gonna paste our methods for example option get head post then we try to brute force what i mean by brute force if you don't know what is mean what brute force means which means we're gonna try to replace get by post we're gonna try to replace it by trace option we're gonna keep replacing every word or, or every method right here and see what the thing is gonna work for us but if you're gonna do this manual manually it will take a long time so that's why i recommend using the burp intruder in order to be faster and uh be more effective for example we click start attack and as you can see right here we are having a 403 which means for uh, like forbidden or access denied which means we cannot access this resource but when we try the option method you can see we're having a status code of 200 which means okay 200 okay which means we are allowed to access this resource using the option so the get is a 403 but the head is 200 and the post is 200 okay 200 okay here it's 405 405 405 405 what we can do basically just go filter this and go right here and only keep the 200 okay request uh, responses so we can just uh, deal with the working 
um, like methods that we have for example we go to an option we go to response as we can see you can see flag http verb bypass success congratulations you bypass the 403 so we try to here what we try to do is we try to manipulate the method of the http request and we get uh, the access for example right here what we did is basically we just modified this into a post Okay, we modify this into post, we click send, you can see congratulations, we bypass this thing right here. So, why this is happening right here? Because some firewalls or some like firewalls configuration, they only they are configured only for a get request, but they are misconfigured against all these methods, for example, post or for example, traced, option, etc. etc. So th that's why this lab or this uh, technique is working right here. So it's not gonna work for every uh, for every lab or for every scenario that you're gonna test because every application have its own configuration or it have its own uh, like uh, environment to have its own code so you need to be testing multiple uh, ways or multiple techniques in order to find the best techniques that will work for you so we're gonna move to the next lab so the next lab what it says let me uh, show the hint let's see the solution for example the hint right here is saying try use head post uh, delete or uh, anything else so if you're trying to solve this lab or maybe you tried everything and you cannot like find the solution for this lab you can just basically click uh, like show hand and you can find the solution for this lab so before we go ahead and finish this video i want to talk about this website which is lorio.shop when you can learn about ethical hacking and bug bounty in a very practical way. As you can see right here, you can see bug bounty courts plus 24 7 chat support. When you can learn about bug bounty and ethical hacking just by watching videos plus solving some labs that I personally built for you in order to practice the skills that you're gonna learn from these videos, which is gonna be 45 videos, details video about XSS, broken access control, how you can find an eye door, or how you can do firewall bypasses, account takeover etc and more vulnerabilities plus you will have some labs in order to practice these skills and you will have a 24 7 chat support if you have any questions or you have any misunderstandings you can type them on the chat and i will personally come and answer your confusion or you can get the 101 private coaching program when i will personally come and coach you into your bug bounty or maybe you're trying to get into pen testing i will teach you every details in a practical way when you go into live hacking together and teach you in a very practical way as you can see right here on the course we having details uh, the recordings from explaining networking proxy tools into advanced explanation from csrf broken access control ssrf open write directs and account takeovers sql injections etc so if you want to enroll into this program you can go to lorry.shop and pick the best program for you and see you there for example right here we're having challenge number two which is http header bypass so we're going to try to access this resource right here which is internal data so we go right here okay we go right here and we paste it admin secret and we click send you can see we're having uh 404 not found this is not normal i think that should be get yes okay that's a 403 forbidden so now if you try to go for post that will not work so that's why i told you you need to be testing every technique you know in order to find the right bypass for the application or maybe the program you're trying to test on so we click send you can see it's a 404 not found so that's not well uh, that's not will work so what we can actually try to do for example that slab right here it's saying header bypass so we're gonna try to look for headers that may bypass this for us so we're gonna try for example x forwarded host i'm gonna try do like this x forwarded forwarded Post. I'm gonna try do one two seven point zero point zero point zero one. I'm gonna click send. You can see it's still four hundred three forbidden. But what you can actually do is the same thing as we did uh, in the past lab. We should try to find like similar headers or similar headers just just like this one right here and we're gonna try to brute force it okay so what we can basically do is we go to uh, google we do like uh, 403 bypass headers list simple as this 
so we're gonna find i hope we're gonna find multiple lists okay so if we don't find i know what's the solution for example this list right here we can copy all of these lists right here we can basically go click on raw and select all and we go to uh, the intruder sorry again okay we go to the intruder and we're gonna try to select this one right here and click add and we're gonna click best and we're gonna click start attack and see and try to see what are the responses that are getting us the 200 okay and not 403 uh, forbidding so until now we're only getting the 403 let me see why okay okay so as you can see right here client ip you can see it's url encoded so you need to like verify like the configuration of verb for example right here it's doing url encoding for our test you don't want to miss a bug just because you have a misconfiguration into your verb suite so we're gonna stop this right here we're gonna solve this by uh unselecting this thing right here which is url encode these characters we want to uh, deselect this and we click again start the attack and we're gonna see the responses again so we're having 403 403 403 again and you can see right here we're having 200 okay which means we just bypassed this lab and you can see right here congratulations this bypass of 403 using http header you can see right here a uh, local host whatever whatever so x forwarded four you can see a uh, technique use x forwarded four or similar header but here we just used uh i don't know what to use we use the client ip so you can use x forwarded for we're gonna see what are uh, other bypasses that we can do for example we go uh, we're gonna select only the 200 okay so we're gonna see uh okay so we can see right here client ip client ip client ip but the solution it's saying that we can use x forwarded host for example we're gonna try this x forwarded for I'm going to do uh, 7.0.0.01 and we click send. You can see, congratulations, you bypassed the lab. So the first lab what we try to do is we try to brute force brute force the http method and now what we tried is a different thing is we try to manipulate the http header so it's a very uh, different thing okay so we're having client ip client ip we still have a long list i think x forwarded four but it didn't work x forwarded four x forwarded four i think right okay so i think it, it will keep testing for multiple requests in order to find all the uh, all the bypasses that it can give for example right here so now what we'll do it will actually look for through all the lists that we gave it and try to look for bypasses so we're gonna stop this right here we're gonna click discard so we already solved the lab we found the lab for example x forwarded for x forwarded for one to seven point zero point zero one which is the right lab or which is the right solution for this lab so we're gonna move to the next lab okay so the next lab is saying is path encoding bypass what do you mean by path encoding bypass is when we try to go protected on files we can actually do url encoding in here so we can actually like bypass this restriction we can go basically into a burp we try to access this right here and we're gonna click send we can see 403 forbidden that we cannot access uh, this thing right here but what we can do is we can do url encoding we can do for example 2f and click send and you can see the lab is solved why this happened because some firewalls or some configuration in the firewalls they actually don't test for every like for every test or for every bypass that hackers actually use for example this one right here what it's actually doing is basically by trying to uh, manipulate or trying to bypass or play with the http request or by the path so uh, the firewall is only testing if the request include like protected build files for example it's only looking for this pattern right here it's only looking for uh, protected slash files but it's not looking for other similar things for example url encoding or double url encoding so it's not looking for this so what we can actually do is basically by encoding the path and we just send it which is the same thing as the previous one and we can access this thing right here and the go for the first lab which is path ca case bypass which is the path case by bypass 
is we try to do uh, for example let me show you the solution of challenge number three do show hand you can see your encoding path like 2e which is the same thing as we did and we go to the path 4 which is path case bypass so we're gonna try to access sensitive info we copy this and we go back into our repeater and let's try this one okay I uh, go on this one right here we click paste we click send you can see it's 403 bypass but if we try to do like uppercase we try to do for example we go uppercase send okay so the application or the firewall is only checking for this pattern for example some save slash info but if the attacker try to do uppercase which is doesn't match the real uh, the real the real restrictions or the real rules that are made by the developers or the that's will actually bypasses because sensitive with uppercase it doesn't equal the sensitive with like lowercase. So if we try to click send, you can see right here, congratulations, you bypassed the lab. So that's why this thing right here is working. And there is also multiple labs. I'm gonna try to solve other labs. For example, so we're gonna go for the lab number six, which is parameter pollution. For example, we're gonna try to access this thing right here, which is this one right here. It can be used for looking in IDORS. For example, we're gonna copy this thing right here, copy the path, for example, API users ID 123, and we're gonna come back again into our burp, okay? And we're gonna do uh, like this, we just remove everything. Okay, we're gonna try to replacing this thing right here and click okay so what we can actually try to do if you try to click send send you can see we're having four three four bidding but what we do or what we can do with the parameter pollution is we try to duplicate this parameter right here and try to make it twice for example we can copy this string right here we only copy and we try to paste it and modify the percentage to end and click send you can see congratulations bypass the 403 parameter using parameter pollution so what is actually happening right here is basically we are trying to manipulate the, the request trying to play with the several filters for example the server is only expecting to check for the first parameter or for a first uh, id parameter but is not checking for the second id parameter which we can actually manipulate so the only or the developer is only checking for id parameter right here but he's not checking for a second one so we can actually bypass that uh, restriction or that slab right here or that's 403 uh, error so these are the techniques i use and there is also multiple labs you can go for for example challenge number eight six seven etc etc you can go for them and play with these labs too and there is one tool I told I uh, normally use or I usually use, which is the 403 bypasser. Okay, so that's one right here. We go for this bypasser 403. You can see this application or what it's trying to do is it try basically by trying to play with the method, is try to do the same thing as we did, but it will do it on autopilot. So we, we don't go through everything that I just explained, but it will do something different by trying to add include this thing right here for example the url encoding trying to add some paths trying to add some those trying to add some this thing right here and try to actually manipulate uh, the server or try why this thing may work because the application is only like uh, restricting only the secret but is not restricting like the url encoding or the with these binary codes you can see right here for example test or for example just including this thing right here can actually bypass the server restrictions so you need to be looking for manual testing as the way i showed you and only use that software right here or this application right here in order to bypass well this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question or if you have any misunderstanding you can actually type them on the comment section and i will reply to your questions i also mentioned or i also uh, included the link of the one-on-one -on -one coaching or my course that i explained everything and other vulnerabilities that you might don't find in this channel like xss sql injection broken access control and how to do 403 bypasses or how to bypass these firewalls i mentioned everything in the details 45 lessons you can find the link on the description and also if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching you can just apply on the link on the description and thank you so much for watching the video see you next one